Hey everybody, Paperclip here, going to be playing some EU4 today as Manipur, where we continue our Animal Kingdom campaign. We're, we're not doing too bad. Um, we gave Sadia a bunch of stuff. We took Sagang and Langdut for ourselves. We got Hale, or Kalei. Unfortunately, we gave Senvi Mong Yang, because we told him we would give him land, and we did. But now he's pissed off at us and immediately broke his alliance and rivaled us even after we gave him land and it said he was happy with the amount of land he was going to receive. So yeah, he's basically a piece of crap. Uh, we're currently trying to apparently make Sadia loyal. They're disloyal because of the conversion and their trust is low and our Diplomatic reputation isn't too good, apparently. Oh, because overextension. Okay. We might as well stop doing that. We're just going to have to wait until this goes down over time. Hmm. How much money do we make? 0.62. Do we have a missionary? We do have a missionary. We could... Knock down funding of the army quite a bit and get the missionary. We would run a bit of a deficit, but it would really help our conversion here because that would give us 2.4% on the conversion. So, yeah, we're going to start trying to convert that. And I think we're going to go ahead and um, get that missionary as soon as we get enough money to buy him because I'm not going to take a loan out to do it because we still have debt let's see I really don't want it to come under the control of either one of them yeah how about screw both of you guys like to be honest oh we want that land oh but we want that land I don't care what either of you want neither of you is getting that land And now 0.75 is the only amount that we're making. Why is that? Hmm. I think it's because land maintenance went up again. We might have to boost this. No, I think we do have to boost it. I really hate our kings. Our kings and our heirs are all two two twos. Like it's pretty crap. We could ask him to raise additional levies. He would be pissed off and you would make our manpower cover slower though. I don't know if that's actually worth it. Uh, now it's 17.5 instead of 16. Why did it go up? Alright, so let's take a look at technology around the area. We're not too far off. I mean, we are still a little bit behind because of our 222 freaking rulers over and over and over again. might be worth it to boost stability. Oh, I really don't want to though. I mean clerical dominance. What the fuck is that? Oh, I think I took that and I didn't realize it. Or I didn't remember doing it. Oh well, I guess. 
So we're going to end up taking another loan here, probably. Not yet, but pretty soon. Only way I could think around that is to raise development somewhere. That's only going to give me an extra 0.9 or 0.09. Because it's not really enough to make a difference here. Well, when will this be done? In 1480. So we'd have to maintain this for like three years to have that be done. Yeah, sure, we'll repay the one loan. We can't repay those loans. So our amount of loan has increased now because of that. That kind of sucks. We're well, going to have literally no funding of the army. Inflation is making everything slightly more expensive. You know, buy it down once, because it's dangerous to have like six percent inflation anyway. Why does inflation just go up there? That must have been a delayed effect from not paying those loans. He's becoming more loyal slowly. We still really want East Bengal. Yonpur would definitely join, but Bamanis. Yonpur is currently at war with Guj and Kham. Is it because Delhi's at war with them? Wait, why are you at war with Guj and Kham? In the Yarkand. Okay, so he's helping Yarkand out. Fair enough, I suppose. Take the prestige. I, I don't want to lose any kind of military points. Any kind of points at all, to be honest with you. Because his independence is being supported now. I have to get rid of this guy now because I have to be able to fund my army. Fucking bastard. Who would be willing to join an alliance? Tom is probably the closest one. He's still negative 60, so I still don't know if I could even get an alliance with him. I need to keep an eye on this. How close is this? Number of loans is at least 10. Oh shit. So I need to get this down. And I also have to boost ability. Yeah, m less unrest. That sounds great.
so let's see. It's me and Yonpur against Dia and Bengal. Sure, that's fine. Unless Yonpur does nothing, because if Yonpur does nothing, I'm completely screwed. I can't fight fucking 30,000 troops on my own. I basically have to have Yonpur over here. And look at him just building up like super massive armies. Yes. Basically, if other people start declaring war on Bengal, this could go really, really well for me. See, 23 fucking thousand troops, man. And he's not going to even be able to get over here because he has to siege down these forts before he can even get to my lands. I'm just going to ha ask like everybody for military access like everywhere to try and get around him so that way I don't have to freaking go in on this he's gonna be here before I can get out of here even with a four fucking maneuver really second I can't get out until the 7th. I just had access through him and now I don't. Fuck you. The 8th. Whatever. I guess I'm here. I guess I'm getting attacked right here. See, I have to take loans out, but I don't want the Peasants' Revolt happening at the... Oh, the Peasants' Revolt went away. Okay, well, cool. Let's go ahead. He's giving me a bunch of subsidies. So, let's go ahead and take some loans out. Let's go ahead and build, like, a small Merc army over here. He's going to 
all go to my capital and sit there with fucking 12k people in my capital. You piece of shit. Are you able to get over here, Yonpur? Oh, yeah, you are. Let's go. Let's freaking go, man. Nope, we're going right over here now. Nope, we're going right up here now. How much am I over my force limit right now? Only by one. That should go down a lot next month, I think. No? How do you bring Bamanus into this? Or did Bamanus declare his own war? Because that's based... Hired by Bengal. Well, I can't get over there. I can't attack this guy real quick. I mean, I, I guess. You're not really giving me any good options here, so... Now it says we're losing just because of battles or because Yonpur occupied by Sadia. What do you mean Yonpur occupied by Sadia? Yeah, that's what I thought. I was about to say, Yonpur is not occupied by anybody. And he just separate fucking peace. Yonpur, why would you separate peace? You had full enthusiasm in this. Are you serious? Somehow they must have gotten their capital. And they just literally, as soon as their capital fell, was like, nope. Nope, no enthusiasm. I want nothing to do with any of this. He wants me to give CD everything. No. Fuck you guys. Like, seriously. Like, I will sooner break my entire country than accept that. Because it basically, it's game over for me at that point. Because you probably already made Yonpur break his... No, you actually didn't make Yonpur break his lines with me. I'm actually surprised that was not a condition. I can't get back there now. Come on, give me military access already. Thank you. Get the fuck back home. Take another loan out. Build more troops, because we need as many troops as we can get, because he's going to just build, like, tons and tons and tons of troops right now. Raise war taxes. Whatever. Yonpur is building spies against us for some stupid reason. We are losing 9.23 ducats every single month right now.
Yep, and this is where we retreat because he's about to bring another 13,000 troops. This is where I take in a ton of loans because fuck this game. Can't believe Yon poor separate fucking piece when we were definitely in the superior force limit. We were winning the battles just because he had one damn occupation. His capital got occupied. He was like, nope, game over, bro. Game over. There's absolutely nothing we could possibly do to win this at this point. My capital's occupied. Like, that's it. That's all she wrote, man. Once your capital's occupied, you can't fight anymore. Fighting just isn't an option at that point. I didn't want to retreat my... Okay, fine. We'll all regroup in the capital. Kill that one stack. Kill that one stack. Maybe if I just sit up here and try and see this capital back, maybe I'll be able to get this. I don't know though, man. I don't fucking know though. Yonpur, you're still a piece of shit for doing that. Like, just because his capital got occupied. Game over, bro. Game over. Literally nothing I could ever do to make this go in my favor now. I lost my capital, man. That's it. That's it. That's the war. That's it. I hate that the AI does that so much. It's the dumbest damn thing ever. They literally completely give up when their capital is occupied. They consider it to be, like, a deal-breaking thing. Like... Oh no, you can't ever win when your capital is occupied. It's so dumb. There's plenty of fucking battles in history where a capital has been occupied and the people continue to fight anyway. It's not like that's a misnomer. Like that's something that fucking happens in history is people will fight until the last dying breath. 35 loans. The game's basically over, I mean, at this point. Like, I have to accept peace from him. I basically have to give him whatever the fuck he wants. What do you want? Oh, you're already free. I will grant you independence. I will give you war reps. I will release Traporia. I will not release Traporia. I'll give you Naga Sagang Thangwadat. No? He requires Kachar to be part of the offer. And watch, if I do this. He requires Sagang or Thangwadat to be part of the offer. You give him Thangwadat and take Sagang. He requires Sagang to be part of the offer. Like literally everything that he borders and for some reason Kachar. He requires to be part of the offer. Load of crap, man. Such a load of crap.
I say, if I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go out on my own terms. Bankrupt with no other fucking option. That's how I'm gonna go out if I'm gonna go out. Yep, and there it goes. My last hope. My last hope's dying breath right there. Fuck you, just take it. It's a bunch of bullshit, man. Bunch of fucking bullshit. Oh, and Arakan is now guaranteeing our independence. Well, fuck you guys. That's what I have to say. I give it. I hate the new Kondatiari thing sometimes, because it's literally like you look at the troops. You're like, okay, I could easily win this with this amount of troops and everything. And then, nope, he just bought freaking 12,000, 13,000 troops from other countries with money he doesn't actually have because, you know, fuck it. I can't disband this army because they're next to a rebel army. Can I just suicide him into the fucking thing then? I don't want to pay for him. Just suicide him. I don't give a shit. Like, I'm literally taking millions of loans out right now for an army I don't even want. Like, just get rid of them. Like, look at this. That's ridiculous. Like, how am I not bankrupt? 448 loans, where we have 111. Fuck you, Sadia. Oh. No more subsidies. So how much you want to bet that means we will go bankrupt now any second. Like, this is so dumb. I can't disband my troops because there's rebels here. So it means I literally can't get rid of this army that's going to make me go bankrupt for any reason at all. Like, there's absolutely no way I can get rid of this army right now. At all. My only hope is that a bunch of Manaporian separatists pop up. Like, dude, just go away! Like, can I accept your demands, maybe? Can I do that? Accept demands. There we go. Now Ming's attacking you. You piece of shit. That's what you get, Sadia. Fuck you. You're an asshole. Hope it was fun. You fucking asshole. 
Oh, and just so you know, Bengo completely broke the alliance with you as soon as you became free. The only reason he freaking helped you is because he hates me. He doesn't want to like you. He doesn't like you at all. He just hates me more than he doesn't like you. So that's really the only reason any of that happened in the first place. And now, because it took so long to disband our army. Oh, I actually do turn a profit. Good. But that's because I just went bankrupt. So we are fucking bankrupt again as Manipur. Uh No oh, thanks, Ming. Don't release anything back to me. Like it's only like all my land, but you know, like fuck it, right? Well, restart time, I suppose. I'll see you guys next time in the restart. Ah. One thing, literally one thing is what caused that.